hello everybody welcome back to the channel in this uh, series of video and um, calculating your um, formula today I'm going to show you how to convert your percentage to gram in my previous video I showed you how to convert gram to percentage which is a bit very important in uh, skincare formulation this may not make much sense right now but as you're formulating your product and you want you know get a hands-on you know attempt to it you will need this now if you don't like math like me don't worry i don't like math also so the, this is very simple and you know when you keep doing this you're going to get used to it and you're going, you're going to become an expert in it just like you become an expert in skincare formulation by clicking that subscribe button today because this is what this channel is all about so in this video we will learn how to convert from percentage to gram now when you're making your formula your product you have to know the percentage to use okay you want to know the percentage to use so it's very important now for a sample form if you want to convert from percentage to gram here is the formula to use you're going to take the the percentage of a single ingredient meaning the for example if your water phase you assume the water phase is going to 50 percent so you're going to put that there divide at 100 percent 100 percent in this situation is a constant so you don't need to ask where is that 100 percent coming from it's just a constant to convert to uh to convert percentage to grab so single ingredient percentage divided by 100 percent multiplied by total gram of the you know of all the ingredient not the product total gram of the ingredient so in this uh, case uh, let's come to this sample formula you at least you know the gram you want but let's just your formula calls for maybe this percentage okay this is a sample formulation not the uh, standard one so i have 50 percent of water i have 20 percent of oil and i have 30 percent of others maybe in the cool down phase so what i will do is i want to convert convert this now to gram how do you do it very simple just take your take that gram amount we're going to follow the simple formula so that will be for the first one okay so let me just say a a b and c for a we're going to take 50 percent because a is 50 percent divided by the constant that i told you about 100 percent okay i always do this so as to prevent you know confusion then multiply by the total amount you know of the i mean total amount of the ingredient that you're going to use so don't worry about that that will be the your batch weight so maybe i should just say total gram of ingredient no let me just say batch weight okay batch weight <coughs> so as not to confuse you here so batch weight so single ingredient divided by 100 percent multiplied by batch weight now let's go forward so 50 percent divided by 100 percent the constant 50 percent for this divided by the constant 100 percent multiplied by your batch weight so multiply by 100 gram so as usual this percentage you cross this percentage then you have 50 divided by 100 so take your calculator again see like okay what do i need a calculator for if you don't like math like myself say you can just use this to simplify it in those is that is zero point I think that should be 0 0.2 but let's do it here because I mean just look at me that's how that's how we get it wrong right so this is 0 0.5 right then you're going to put here equals 0 0.5 okay multiply by 100 gram so if you multiply that by 100 equals 50 gram 50 gram so that's how you get the that, that's how we get the 50 gram so that's 50 gram so let's go for the b here so our b is the percentage of b 20 percent divided by 100 percent okay multiplied by the batch weight which is uh, 100 gram that will give us as usual so we're going to do we're going to do 20 divided by 100 you bring your calculator here so 20 divided by 100 
equals so 0 0.2 so remember this percentage will cross this percentage multiply by 100 gram and that will give us 20 so that will give us 20 gram so that is how to convert so that will give us 20 gram the same here too would apply so c is going to be 30 percent divided by 100 percent multiply by 100 gram the batch weight so also this will cross this out so this is going to be 30 divided by 100 bring your calculator just so we are on the same page 30 divided by 100 equals 0 0.3 0 0.3 multiplied by 100 gram equals to 30 gram then you plug in your 30 gram here now that is the simplest time i like to go a bit more complex because this looks so straightforward isn't it now let's go for a formula a formulation batch that has 120 gram in it we we'll use the same approach as always don't i don't want you to get this when you get it right at this stage it's going really it's going to really help you formula a lot of people like easy thing like myself i just use calculator or formulation calculator worksheet i know but you can use that in the later but this knowledge is going to stay with you for the rest of your formulation career you don't know what you might be tomorrow maybe uh, a tutor tomorrow and this is going to stay with you for the rest of your career so do this don't skip this video watch it to the end it's going to really help you out if you have any question i'm here to uh, address it so drop that question in the com in the comment box below now let's calculate this one with batch weight of 120 gram the batch weight of 100 gram is very simple when you see 100 like that it, the percentage will be the same as gram in terms of mean but when you go a bit more complex you know exactly what we're doing so we're going to plug in the same formula so single ingredient uh, percentage so we're going to i'll do this a b and c now single ingredient so we want to do here now here will be 50 percent divided by 100 percent which is a constant multiplied by the batch weight okay batch weight is 120 gram in this case so it, again percentage we cancel percentage 50 divided by 100 50 divided by 100 will be So take your calculator, we don't like hard thing, right? So 50 divided by 100 equals to 0 0.5. So it's going to be 0 0.5 multiplied by 120 gram, which is equals to, you know, multiply by 120 equals to 60. So that's going to 60 gram. So we write a 60 gram here. The same thing, let's go to B. B who we'll plug in P 20% divided by 100% which is a constant. 20% is the amount of the oil. Then multiply by 120 gram which is the batch weight equals just the same approach that we've been using since. You bring your calculator here. Don't worry if you don't like math. Math sucks I understand. Uh, but just straightforward 20 Remember, percentage, we cancel percentage, 20 divided by 100 equals 0 0.2. So, so that would be 0 0.2 multiplied by 120 gram, which is 0 0.2 multiplied by 120 equals to 24 gram. So your gram here is 24. Now let's go for the 30. Now, I will show you something now to know if we are right or wrong, but let's finish our calculation. The same, we're going to plug in 30% divided by 100%, which is a constant, right? 30% is for this one. Uh, divided by 100, which is a constant, multiplied by the total batch weight, which is 120 gram. Then, <coughs> cross the percentage because they are the same. 30 divided by 100, your calculator as always, 30 divided by 100 equals 0 0.3. So it's going to be 0 0.3 multiplied by 120 gram. So times 120 equals 36 gram. So plug it in here. Now you want to see if you are right. If you add everything, it equals to 
this batch weight, then we are right. So 36 plus 24 plus 60 equals 120 gram. Now batch weight is 120 gram. So that's how you do it. That is how you convert your, it's hard. I know it may be hard for upcoming formulator, but this is the best way to convert your percentage to gram. You can use this to make you know, to scale up. So let's say you are making, um, you want to make, for instance, let's say you want to make um, five, you want to make 5,000 gram of a lotion, but your formula calls for water for maybe 50%, 20%, you plug it in. You understand? Because you need to know, yeah, now you know the percentage in your formula, right? But you don't know the gram, right? Follow this procedure. Come back to this video and follow my instruction. Also, look in the description box below. I wrote the exact formula there. Okay, but it's very important that you watch this whole video to know the exact way to convert your percentage to gram. This is for cosmetic formulation. You can use it also in real life if you want to convert this. So I hope this video has uh, helped everyone out. If you have any question about uh, making your cosmetic formula, this this is a channel to talk up. This is a channel to subscribe to. Also, if you want to learn more about making great and stable skincare products, this is a channel to so click that subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified when I upload new videos. I have an exciting news to uh, to share with you. Um, on our website, naturalskincareschool.com, we share with you stable in-house made formula to make cosmetic products to sell, especially natural products to sell. So if you want to improve your formulation skill, head over to naturalskincareschool.com and join today. Um, all our formula are not available anywhere online. They are custom made by our R&D team. And also it, it contains, you know, step-by-step -step instruction, formulation instruction. So you have nothing to worry about if you want to, you know, uh, if you know a bit about DIY, or you know the basic of formulation, that website is going to help you. But if you don't know much about formulation, please subscribe to this channel and be watching our videos. Once you're comfortable in knowing formulation, then head over to naturalskincareschool.com. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any question about this video, drop in the comment box below and I will answer you. And also remember, click the subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified when I upload new videos. Thanks for watching.